Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Conger. I'm the Entrepreneurship and Strategy Professor for the Prime Summer Program. In this video, we're going to tackle the big question, what is entrepreneurship? It might help to start by thinking about what we already think entrepreneurship is. When you picture an entrepreneur, you might immediately think of someone like Mark Zuckerberg, someone on the cover of a magazine, someone who founded a company that just went public for a ridiculously high sum, someone with a hot new idea that big time investors want to talk to, or companies that make products and services that become so ubiquitous, they shape the whole world that we live in. And we wouldn't be wrong. But that really only describes a small fraction of the people who start one of the nearly 1 million new businesses every year. And that's 1 million just in the US alone. If you look at startups across the country and around the world, you begin to realize that there are entrepreneurs of every race, gender, creed, background, culture, and the startups they create are all different sizes, serve lots of different markets, and create all kinds of different products and services. They can be for-profit, non-profit, big or small, successful or unsuccessful. And in fact, more than half of new startups fail within the first few months. So maybe it's not about some set of characteristics that define some people's entrepreneurs and others not. Maybe it's more about what they do and how they do it. So what do startups and the entrepreneurs who create them actually do? Eric Ries, who wrote a very good book about entrepreneurship called The Lean Startup, puts it this way. A startup is a human institution designed to create something new under conditions of extreme uncertainty. So what defines being an entrepreneur is that we don't yet know what's going to work. Therefore, we have to go through a process to discover what the right things to do are. So entrepreneurs are people who create new things things that could be valuable if they existed in the world. That could mean new products or services, or it could be new ways to tackle problems like climate change, poverty, inequality, or to affect social change. The work of an entrepreneur is not so much to come up with new ideas, but to figure out whether an idea might be a viable opportunity to create new value in the world, and just as important, to figure out how to do it. And because change is involved, because they're creating something new, the way it can or will work out isn't just unknown, it's truly impossible to predict. So how do they do this? How do entrepreneurs make this happen? And how do they even get started? The answer is experienced entrepreneurs approach the world using something that we call the entrepreneurial method. They tend to operate by a set of effectual principles and use tools that help them design, test, and develop ideas and take action to pursue and develop new opportunities. In the next video, we'll talk more about the entrepreneurial method by looking at the effectual principles that shape how entrepreneurs think about the world and take action to change it. See you then. Hey, the stuff we cover in this video is based on the work and ideas of a lot of really great researchers and practitioners. Links to some of their work are included below in the description, and they're also on the course Canvas site if you wanna go a little deeper. And of course, I'm happy to talk to you anytime. The easiest way to get in touch with me is to go to my website, profconger.com.